good morning and welcome back to another vlog so it is tuesday morning it's actually it's not quite early every time i start a vlog i'm always like oh my god it's actually quite early it is currently 11 33 in the morning so it's not really that early at all i have just finished getting ready because i thought i would start another weekly vlog and vlog over the next few days because i have got a very exciting upcoming few days so today i'm actually going to a tiktok beauty event and i'm really excited because i'm really trying to get into tiktok and be on like the fashion and beauty side of it just because i really enjoy doing that stuff but i want a platform solely for that so that's like what my tiktok is now and i'm going to this event with clee and it's basically where you get to meet all of the beauty and fashion brands that are on tiktok shops there's apparently like 60 plus brands at this event and we can go and speak to them we can go and network we can look at their products and yeah i'm really excited to go and do that today so that's first on the agenda me and Kali are going to go for food first and then i'm going to come back i'm going to get re-ready and then i'm actually going for food with callum and then our friends live daniela and katie because katie's actually moving back to australia she actually went to australia last year so we've already done one goodbye and now she's going back again so we're all going to go to rudy's tonight which i'm really excited for because i've never actually been inside rudy's which i feel like is a bit of like an offense living in manchester and not been to rudy's because all i hear is people be like you need to go to rudy's it's the best pizza ever and i've had it on a takeaway on a shoot before but i could only really have like one or two slices because i was working whereas today we're actually going for like food in the restaurant so i'm very excited to try it because apparently it is meant to be one of the best pizza places in manchester and callum messaged me last night and was like you can add truffle oil and burrata onto your pizza that is my idea of heaven and then tomorrow i've got some meetings and i'm actually not doing too much tomorrow but byron is back in manchester so i'm sure we'll do something and then on thursday we're going to scare fest and i am terrified i do not do well with stuff like that at all and it's really annoying because i love halloween i love everything else about halloween apart from being terrified it's like one of those horror walkthroughs and we did it last year but there's like an outdoor walkthrough this time and then there's four different mazes and i just know i'm not gonna do well like, i'm gonna vlog and try and keep it together for the vlog i'm like that's gonna be my excuse like i'm gonna try not to scream and stuff because i'm filming it i know i'm gonna be absolutely terrified but there is about 20 of us going so i I am going to insist on being right in the middle of the group. I'm not going to the front. I'm not going to the back. I'm staying firmly in the middle. I need to get better at this though because I'm doing this one on Thursday and then the following week we're going to Alton Towers and we're doing the Alton Towers scare fest which apparently I've never actually done that before either so I don't know how scary that is. I mean I hope it's good but at the same time I'm like I'm kind of hoping that it's not so I'm not scared. But yeah very exciting little weekly vlog coming up for you guys and then Sap is also coming up this weekend as well which I'm really excited for she's coming up on friday and we're gonna go for food we're gonna go out in manchester and that's gonna be really nice because i haven't seen her in a while so i'm excited to catch up but yeah i am gonna get dressed now because i'm currently in my pjs but i've done my hair and makeup love today's hair and makeup just thought i would sleek it and now my hair is getting so long i'm loving this new hairstyle i also had this really cute little parcel dropped off at my door this morning my friend imran who lives in the building has just started this new brand called forever sundays and it's so cute i've got a dressing gown and then i think i've got some of the fake tan the blending brush the mitt and then a contour stick and i'm not sure what that is i think that might be another colored mitt but how cute and then there's a little picture of me there and it says anastasia so thank you so much imran i am so excited to try some of this out and i love 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 the dressing gown and it matches my nails i just realized i think all of you know by now that i am obsessed with a cozy autumn night in and the perfect addition to that is hello fresh i think it's the most easiest convenient way to cook my dinners and it's really helpful for me because i'm trying to learn how to cook so trying out all of these different recipes is like super exciting now i'm back from all of my travels and i'm having all of my cozy autumn nights i have been loving the hello fresh premium recipe range these recipes are like bringing restaurant food into your home and it's gorgeous i cooked the roast chicken and peppercorn sauce and the peppercorn sauce with the shallots in oh my god that was like the definition of a proper home cooked meal obviously i've got a discount for you guys so you can either scan the qr code that i will pop on screen here or use the code 60 kings and you will get 60 percent off your first box and then 25 percent off your next eight boxes that is an unbelievable deal and i cannot recommend these recipes enough i'm actually going to make tonight the creamy truffle and mushroom naans and oh, truffle 
way to my heart. I will also leave all of the information in the description box down below, but make sure to check out HelloFresh and make use the discount code because you are not gonna wanna miss it. I thought I would show you my full outfit. This is the worst place. Again, I don't have a good place to show you, but the outfit is in my bedroom, but this top is from Sisters and Seekers, and then I've got on my Zara jeans, and then I actually have on my Ego boots underneath here that you can't see, and then my little LV bag. I don't know whether to like tuck this in or whether to have it hanging out like over. I don't know, but I just wanted to go for a pretty like slouchy autumn-y vibe today. I don't think it's too cold outside. I mean, I'm judging by the sun. I might walk out and be absolutely freezing, but because the sun's out, I was like, I don't think I need to take a jacket. I mean, I do have a couple of jackets that I could take if I needed to, to be fair. They probably would match this outfit, but I'm kind of enjoying it without. So yeah, just waiting for Cam to get here on the train and we're going to go for Wagamama's. Cannot wait because I've had an avocado bagel this morning, but I'm starving and I really want edamame, what fried greens and a duck bao bun. have just been inside the event i was going to film it for you guys but you can't really film anything because it's basically just like a networking event where you can speak to all the different brands and then they give you loads of different products to try so yes i could have filmed it but god knows what i actually would have filmed because it's so hectic and so hot in there but i'm going to do you a haul when i get home i've got so many exciting pieces and forever sundays was just there as well so i just bumped into imran which is really nice who dropped a parcel off mine this morning but yeah i'll do you guys a haul when we get home at the moment we're just trying to condense everything down into one bag and i'm like Callum went in there in a t-shirt, a hoodie, and a coat, and it's like 50 million degrees. Okay, we are back from the event. I got a nomadic pot that I'm gonna have for my lunch in a minute, but I thought I would show you a few of the brands that were actually there. It's basically like an event to go if you're like into TikTok shop or if you do TikTok and you get like a chance to meet all the brands and like speak to them about like working with them and stuff and get on their PR list. And it's just a really good like networking event. And Callum said to me like, you're gonna come away with bags and bags and bags and i was like yeah yeah no you actually do come away with bags and bags and bags i've now got so much stuff but we are well me and kind of both just saying let me do a giveaway with some of it because i have actually got some of this stuff already but oh my god i've got another one of my fave collection mascara i was just speaking about on tiktok the collection were there that was really nice to meet them because i've never met them before really excited about this peaches and cream and i love how they've done it in a pick and mix bag i think that is so cute so i don't think i've ever tried anything with peaches and cream before but i've heard of it so i'm really excited to um try these on tiktok i've got some of their cream bronzers they gave me two of those and then my little brushes unicorn cosmetics i've got a load of stuff in here as well which i'm really excited about i've got the bare face lip oil in two different shades but this oh my god this is actually going to be oh yeah i've got new eyelashes from unicorn <gasps> love those ones the nala ones they're gorgeous I oh my god, thank you so much yeah i do love their lashes as well and we've got one of the little powder puffs this is what i'm most excited about as well though from wild wild then i love their deodorants and they've come out with a sustainable natural deodorant little deodorant stick so you've probably seen their deodorants before they're in like i've got one here actually they look like this me and Callum got matching ombre cases i've got the one that's like a navy blue already like a metallic -y blue but they've come out in the little deodorant sticks that you can just keep in your handbag and i'm not gonna lie i always see deodorant on me like i have a sweating problem this summer <laughs> i really really do and i think this is so handy to have in a handbag so this is going to become one of my new handbag essentials fever cosmetics oh some of this stuff looks really fun oh the caribbean cocktail oh shower and shaver nice what one have you got chocolate martina oh what? Snack, we that's, that's what i've got and then i've got some of the ribbon perfumes as well oh i like that that's really nice is it shampoo bar did i say i know shower and shaver well girlies what a successful little trip to meet all the brands i really enjoyed that met some lovely people met quite a few of you guys as well which was nice but it must be so fun for the brands to get to meet like everyone they've worked with right there we go i'm gonna put all of this in the office and then i can sort through all of this later do i get changed no i really can't bother i think i'm just gonna go like this maybe i'll just change my top and put a different jacket on but we're gonna go to rudy's which i'm really excited for oh just, rudy's pizza yeah i love well i'm saying i love rudy's i've only ever had it on a shoot before i've never actually been into rudy's so very excited for that and then i'm gonna come back and put my dressing gown on obsessed it is a little bit later and i'm back as you can probably tell from my makeup because my makeup is basically nothing left on my face but when 
am i gonna learn guys i ordered the most unbelievable pizza right it had a white base which i don't know what sauce that is but it said white base with this is really random but roast potatoes caramelized onions mozzarella burrata black pepper and truffle oil and dipped in garlic aioli so it was literally all of my favorite things mixed in one and i did see the caramelized onions and i thought oh like do i have onion because i'm pretty sure it is that that sets my stomach off and since i haven't had it my stomach has been nowhere near as bad like i've been having pains because i'm due on my period tomorrow if i come on other than that I haven't really bloated and then I kid you not I've come back and pretty much within like half an hour of eating an onion my stomach has gone double the size as what it was before I ate it so I think it's pretty safe to say that onion is one of my triggers which is so sad and I also think it could be cheese I don't have a lot of cheese she says that she's just eaten burrata and mozzarella on pizza but it only seems to be when I have burrata that my stomach gets really set off so I'm gonna climb into bed now I'm gonna take my makeup off and and we're just going to start again tomorrow and fingers crossed the bloatedness is going to be gone when i wake up but i'm going to have a really nice wholesome day tomorrow going to have some meetings in the morning on zoom so i won't be vlogging in the morning but then i think we're going to have like a nice little halloween like baking cooking evening and make like loads of halloween themed food which is going to be really fun so yeah i'm very excited for that good morning everyone it is the next day it is wednesday and today i have got a very exciting day we are actually going to be doing some really cute little halloween bits tonight so i just had a meeting about the podcast with saf we finally just like rounded up all of our ideas for the next season and like what we're going to speak about and stuff and we're actually like recording the first episode next week so oh my god i'm so excited to finally 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 be back but um yeah i just got a facetime saf and she's coming up this weekend anyway so she's going to be in the next vlog she's actually staying for the full weekend so yeah i'm buzzing but gonna have a nice little halloween day today we're gonna go to costco because i've had a costco card for a year Year and i've never used it i don't know why because they never sent me a card so i just was like oh like how do i get in but i now know that you just have to go to the desk inside costco pick up your card and then you can go around so we're gonna go in there we're gonna have a look i just want to get some snacks for the house because i don't have any snacks i just have food in for like lunch and dinners and breakfasts but i don't have anything to like snack on so i'm gonna go and get a load of snacks and then we're gonna go to asda and we're gonna make some like halloween food tonight so we're gonna make like ghost shaped pizza or like little pumpkin peppers and just like a cute little halloween evening and then pop a halloween film on so yeah it says me very cute i'm just gonna pop some makeup on get dressed and then we can head out i think i might have found a little bit of a better spot to show you my outfit of the day this is today's outfit again i'm back in orange joggers because they're the comfiest thing ever then i just changed into this black top i was Where's this from? I want to say it's from PLT. Also, right, I'm going to go and pick the boys up now. But this morning, guys, I signed the most exciting brand deal ever that you're actually going to see in next week's vlog. I still cannot believe that I'm actually working with this brand. Like when my manager messaged me this morning, she told me briefly about it on the weekend and was like, just want to let you know this might be happening, blah, blah. If it is, if it's something you'd want to do. And I was like, is that even a question? Like it's the most insane brand to get to work with at one minute million percent in my like top five that i've ever 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 have gonna worked with so yeah next week in the vlog please 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 show as much love and support on this one as possible because this is one of like my proudest ones i think anyway i'm gonna go pick up the boys we're gonna go to costco now but i just have to get that out there because i'm so excited we have arrived in costco and just got our costco membership cards and we've just come and i'm not buying callum a telly did just get Tellies for everyone. Just get Callum a cost card. Costco cost card though. Under the business. It's a big slave for us. And I've got matching Costco cards. I know what we can do right now. What? It's in the trolley. I'll buy it. Costco edition. No, we're not about to play that game. No. <laughs> no, you can't get a smaller trolley. <laughs> Wavy with a basket. But I was just thinking because my TV in my bedroom is tiny and it also doesn't really work. It's just awful. But I was just looking at these TVs and they are amazing prices this one's 520 and it's 65 inch and this would give like cinema in my bedroom i'm obsessed with like led lights behind it it looks so good for those who didn't know callum actually can play the guitar but he's amazing we did a little duet the other night and it's so good pianist over here you want me to play maroon five <laughs> This is the first time I've seen Callum with a pram. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This is what Anna will look like as a mom. I think you'd be a Mill fan. 
You want mini one? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I have wanted a Ninja Creamy for ages, ever since I saw Emily Canham doing all the Ninja Creamy videos. And then I got onto like Ninja Creamy TikTok. Well, I've just found one. So I think it's going to have to be bought. I'm very excited. There's like smoothie set in, milkshake set in, sorbet, ice cream. So I'm going to put this to the test later. These are the sections I probably should avoid. However, these look phenomenal. So they're going to have to be bought. Belgian chocolate brownies. Atticus, I'm doing this for you. Are you kidding? Guys, this is 100 oh, and... Oh, 40 pounds. Fold, yeah, but I don't understand how it folds if it's, it's got like, all these in. Put in your washing oh, yeah, like how does it fold? Because we found a basketball thing and basketball is my favourite thing ever, ever, ever. How does it fold? Oh, that's oh, still... That's still big though. That's not going in my washing machine cupboard. It's only as wide as that. Yeah, it's not as wide all. as this. So that folds up and it all goes out. Smaller than that. If I have a clear out, then it might fit. Yeah. <gasps> wow, look at this. Movie, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it could be found. This one doesn't have a face. Look at these ones. They're so cute. No, that doesn't have a face. The banana one, I think, is my face. Yeah, I think the banana one's got it. Banana. So oh, they're so soft. I love the banana. They're so soft. We're loving the kids section and the toy section. Oh, we are. I wish I was a kid right now. They've got such good okay. stuff. I wish I was like this Look at that. Harry Potter set. We've got oh. loads of Harry Potter Lego sets and a Harry Potter Rabbit calendar. Now this is cool for Disney 100 oh, years. The Lego. Oh my God, I can't believe this. They've got Avatar. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, this is like them, look. Yeah, all of these Lego Fugitsu, bits. They're Are they soft? And look, the Star Wars the Mandalorian. Oh, That's man. so sick. They also have Chewbacca. I think Atticus is going to want some of this for Christmas. Something is just telling me that. This is £65. I actually don't think that's awful for Lego like this. Maybe Atticus is going to have to get this for Christmas. The Christmas aisles down here are making me so excited for Christmas. I'm going to literally decorate for Christmas in November this year because I couldn't last year because I was in Australia until like the 12th. But the these aren't really Christmassy, but this candle smells amazing. Sea and Sand, California, so nice. How pretty is this TV as well? I feel like my nan or my mum would absolutely love something like this. I feel like I should get that for them for like nearer Christmas, but how amazing. Surely not. It's oh, 500 pounds. Look, it's as tall as Anna. Well, I've been having this it actually looks like door. it's from Disneyland. Yeah, it does. I love that. I'd love that like to breathe in by the door of 10 or this one is a bit of me. That is gorgeous. It's wooden. That one's only 58. I don't think that's that bad. That one's lovely. Oh, do they come in a set? I think this one's my favourite one. Yeah, that one's because it's like wooden. I feel like it's a little bit more like vintagey. It's vintage. Vintagey. I like that. We've started to go down the food aisles now and the trolley is getting full. I'll do a proper haul when I get back. I am buying some stuff for my Ninja Creamy, but I'm also just buying stuff for snacks because I never, like I was explaining earlier, have snacks in the house anymore. So just stocking up whilst it's a little bit cheaper to do it in bulk. This is all becoming very tempting. Look what I just bought. But to be fair, we do have Mexican night a lot of the time. So I feel like it's cheaper to buy it here, but these are really good. Normally we have fajitas, but I got these pocket ones instead. Here is what the trolley is looking like. I'm going to do a proper haul when we get home. This isn't just my stuff, by the way. This has also got fire and stuff in. And now we are in Asda buying stuff for our Halloween themed dinner. <gasps> Byron! We've got three orange peppers so far because we're going to make some pumpkin stuffed peppers. So everyone, we're back and I'm going to do you guys a Costco haul. So obviously I've got my Ninja Creamy, which I'm very excited for. I'm going to set that up probably tomorrow unless... Actually, maybe we'll make some dessert out of it tonight. So maybe I will do that later. But then I got some tequila rosé. Crazy, when we go out in the evenings, we'll just be like, oh, we'll just pop to the shop and get a bottle of wine or we'll just pop to the shop and get this. But I feel like that was a cheap way of doing it and then just keeping it in the cupboard. Then I got a load of Kinders, the medium bars. I've got 36 of those in there. I thought they could go in the Ninja Creamy. Then me and Byron got one of these boxes of crisps and half it. Loads of crisps. And then I bought, got 96 Tampax Pearls to stock up in my bathroom. I got some of these pizza pockets. I thought these looked really nice. And then this is all. That's all the food for tonight, actually. Got some brownies. They are amazing brownies. And I got some truffle crisps just to keep in my snack drawer. Then that's all the food for later. Then I got six bottles of White Zim Pandel wine just to stock up in my wine fridge. And then, oh my God, sorry, that bag was really heavy. Jesus Christ. I, I got some fajita pockets because we always have Mexican night. I got Kinder Bueno. I got some LED lights for my wardrobe area. I got 30 cans of Coke, which I'm buzzing about because that was so much cheaper than buying them in Tesco. It was 
13 pounds for 30 cans and downstairs in the shop they're a pound a can so that was really good and got some chocolate shop lollies they're my missing tomatoes from my last vlog that i found in the boot some milky bars some nomadic pots which i love for breakfast oh, we're nearly there now some mars bar milkshake cans and then the environment went halves on some dolmio pasta sauces always have pasta and then just to keep in the fridge 25 baby bells probably did go slightly overboard but i love Costco and i feel like now i'm stocked up for snacks for pretty much the rest of the year so now i'm gonna put them all in my snack drawer it's gonna be filled up again i'm so excited okay i've packed everything in my fridge it is looking very very satisfying apparently don't have a lot of room for food because a lot of it is drinks but it looks really good i'm very happy with this this is my fridge now i know this might be a little bit excessive I am aware of that, but I always had a full snack drawer because I feel like everyone always comes over. Like mine is kind of like a communal flat for us to have like evenings in and stuff. So I always like to have a full snack drawer and I'm very happy with this. My brownies, my crisps, my chocolate. Oh, it looks so much better than what I did. It was literally, it had ginger biscuits and pink Kit Kats in before. So this is an improvement. When me and Byron went into Astra as well, this random woman come up to us and was like, oh, do you two want a picture with the Starbucks photo booth? So we got a cute little picture in the photo booth i'm gonna put this up in my office guys we have decided it is new tv day so basically we got back and callum had a look at the bracket and my bracket that's already on the wall that was put there by like the builders in the building is gonna hold the tv so i think i'm gonna get the 58 inch one which is gonna be amazing it's genuinely gonna feel like i have like a cinema in my bedroom now it's gonna be so much bigger and i'll get some like cool like led lights behind it and stuff but having film nights in bed i'm just gonna get so much better because i never really used that tv because my eyesight is awful even with my glasses on and it's tiny um and i also didn't realize that the the bracket on my wall you can push along so i've had the tv like really off centered to my bed for the last two years because i never realized you could push it along well at least now i know that callum is gonna have this tv but look <laughs> goes along like that like when i was watching tv in bed i've always had it so far along like here i can't believe that i never knew that it dragged but yeah callum is gonna have this one and i'm gonna upgrade the tv today which i'm very excited about So the TV doesn't actually fit on the wall. Basically the screws that are on the bracket are too thin to hold this TV up. So the bracket will be fine. We just need to go and get screws that are gonna fit into this hole because the ones that I already had for the other TV were too small. So we're going back out and we're gonna go to Curry's. They fit guys, but now we've bought bolts instead of screws. I think you can still do it. It's Byron's fault. It is Byron's fault. The TV is on the wall. Oh, I'm just switching it on fun. now. That is like, Right, that, that looks oh, yeah, unreal. No, you can feel it. You want to show the difference? Oh yeah, show the difference in sizes. Well, oh, this will really satisfy. <gasps> oh. oh wow, look at the screen. £300 for that? Yeah. That's incredible. That is insane. Oh yeah, look at the size difference. And that's Callum's that new TV. Sick. The HD-ness of that and the 4K is incredible. Oh, wow. wow. Now we have no sound. I don't know what is going on with this TV. It's Halloween baking time. I still have no sound on the TV, but whilst we cook dinner, Callum is going to try and figure out the sound because it's working, but it just won't work on the apps, which kind of makes no sense. So. Or on the aerial. Or on the aerial. So we're not really sure what's going on, oh, but Callum's just watching a how to. Oh, I know it's 10 35 I got the arms around taking my bowl okay. okay got the bowl everyone's ripped me it's for all this hot and puree and stuff and now look what it's coming in handy for Sorry, your autumn reels oh yeah look at that my primark candles so put the candle on yeah, yeah, okay. yeah that i've also Ooh. been ripped for look what it's coming uh, in now, handy for now 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 an autumn reel everyone but who what because i love the autumn setup and i said oh, that's true actually it's the boys so that i've ripped story. me for the autumn setup well i know they, 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 do it's like on camera god do you actually know how to oh work social god. media i actually yeah. did give you a vlogging lesson earlier right so i've got a vlog she's gone down one I'm gonna start doing the dough and Callum's gonna come in and tell me. I need to put some water in this and then I've gotta mix it. I never made pizza before like this. Water. 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 None of us are proper. Look at 
muscle. You're doing thighs with your elbow. I'm trying to mix dough with this massive spatula. <laughs> it's cold. I mean, it won't come out. Oh, I'm like avoiding everything. You know, when it gets to the point where you have to put your hands in. Yeah. But then it gets all under your nails. Oh, my hands are oh, freezing. Yeah, yeah I'm in there. Go on then. Yes, Chef Callum. Right, let's stuff these peppers. Guys, Callum used to be a chef, so. Right, it's hot, he is hot, on pizza duty. Hot, 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 hot. Right, so how about just how about shit having these um You are. No. Should we do a pumpkin and a bag? Yeah, or a pumpkin and a ghost. Not us stuffing the peppers, we turn around, Callum's made a full ghost pizza and a pumpkin! Not just a pretty face, eh? No, babe, okay. this man is a man of multi talents, as you've seen in this vlog. He's a musician, he's a chef. He <laughs> can put a TV on a wall. He can put a TV on a wall. He is an all rounder. Yeah, babe. Which one's mine? You're welcome, baby. The peppers so, are really stuffed, they look so good. We added rice into the mix and then we put loads of cheese on top. And these are gonna go in the oven. I have learned from my previous mistake of not putting them in the oven. Can't believe I ate it without putting it in the oven last time, but they look so cute. Here is the finished pizzas. Oh, Callum has decorated the ghost and we have decorated Did the pumpkin. And then we've got the pump double stuffed pumpkins to go in. Oh, they look so cute. Very proud of us. Stuffed pumpkins are going in. These are Byron's creation. The peppers have come out. They look so good. I'll lift it off one more time, ready? Oh, uh, <gasps> Look at those. Wow. Can't wow. Your hands out. You're both up in the market, so. Our pizza's in the oven. Oh, ghosty. Oh, it's it's not just there, is it? No, it doesn't have to, but I just thought it'd be nicer. to eat, Easier to eat off. That pepperoni actually looks really nice. <gasps> oh, oh no. <laughs> Does look lovely and cool. Oh. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Do you want to get your leg out all day? They're like, stuff. Oh, do you want to get, get your leg out? Oh, dear. Oh, no, it doesn't oh, look too bad. Like, don't ruin ours. <laughs> you dare ruin ours. You did make it. Oh, you did make it. it. Oh, that looks really nice, ours, actually. Ours has got a bit of colour to it. A bit of spice on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she got yellow. Ours just look, <laughs> ours looks like saturated compared yeah, to yours. Just a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of summer something. A little bit of a colour pattern. Oh, she's folded on herself, bless her. Oh, bless her. Here is our finished Mila autumn bird. board. Girls are just getting all the pics she in. Autumn bird. The really just does add that. Doesn't it? <laughs> Look at my little pepper. Oh, Ooh. so hot, babe. So hot. Girl, that is good. That is unreal. We should put it like first on it so you get a bit Have of done it? as well. Oh, yeah. It is the next day and I am actually going to end off this vlog here just because I didn't realise how long it already was and I think tonight's like portion is going to be fairly long so I'm actually going to put it in the next vlog but it's going to be an exciting one. I'm not going to lie, I'm terrified. Um, so make sure you guys check out Wednesday's video if you want to see Scarefest tonight, I'm not going to lie. Can't wait to get it over and done with say so I've done it, I've conquered it because... I am dreading this. But I love you all so much and I will see you on Wednesday for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye.